Hey guys, welcome to complete revision of current affairs. Today we are going to take a look at current affairs from 7th August to 20th August. Not much is happening around the world right now. So we are going to have a very brief uh, session uh, given that it's two weeks, right? But whatever is being told, please take it very seriously. If I'm asking you to read up on something, please do go ahead and uh, read upon it. Let's get started. Indian Army conducts Pan-India Drill Skylight to test operational readiness. Indian Army has conducted a Pan-India uh, Satellite Communication Exercise named uh, Exercise Skylight in the last week of July. The main objective of this exercise was to test the operational readiness and robustness of its high-tech satellite communication systems in the event uh, of an attack by an adversary. The Indian Army is prepared to have its own multi-band dedicated satellite with added security features by 2025. Now, uh, we are all very satellite dependent, right? Our communications cannot really uh, function without uh, satellites and it is important for us to develop our own indigenous technologies to basically make our communications more secure. If we are sharing the uh, be like you know const satellite constellation with some other country or we are borrowing it from some other country sensitive data can get misplaced or can be stolen okay so it's very important that we have our own uh, options that are indigenous to us okay so this will be a very great step and as and when we can completely shift to it it will be a great news for India <clears throat> Commonwealth Games 2022 PV Sindhu won the gold medal in women's single badminton. Now this is a uh, good news for us and that's why it is uh, here. Otherwise, uh, it's not of much significance. Only the historical, uh, historically significant medals are important. The medals that we are uh, like, you know, getting for the very first time or something of that sort. PV Sindhu has been a very steady performer. So, uh, of course, she won. Uh, obviously, it's a moment of pride for us. But again, uh, again, uh, as far as Commonwealth Games are uh, concerned, history being made is more important with respect to the exam. Okay. So she clinched a gold medal in the final women's single at Commonwealth Games 2021. Commonwealth Games 2022. Again, what is the news? India won silver medal after losing to Australia in cricket. But why it is important? It has created history. Okay, so the Indian women's cricket team has created history and secured the country's first ever medal in cricket in the history of Commonwealth Games. So, we have we were never able to secure a medal in Commonwealth Games in women's cricket. Okay, so that is the idea and that's why it is a, a history that was created. Right, women in blue have reached the uh, gold medal match after beating hosts England in a, England in a nail biting clash. Okay, so none of this is important. The only point that is important is what is the historical piece of news here? We in women's cricket uh, in at Commonwealth Games we had a silver medal. Or we won a silver medal. Indo-US Joint Special Forces Exercise Vajra Prahar 2022 begins in Himachal Pradesh. Now, I have uh, emphasized quite a lot on this. There are many major exercises, uh, military exercises uh, that we conduct along with other countries okay, to ensure smooth functioning of joint operations if such a need, arise, uh, need arises. So here, Vajra Prahar is another one major exercise. Okay, if you want, you may take a look at uh, the list of other such exercises. Uh, it's very readily available anywhere on the internet. So what has happened here? The India-US Joint Special Forces Exercise, Exercise Vajra Prahar 2022, began on August 8, 2022 at the Special Forces Training School in Baklo, Himachal Pradesh. Okay, this is the 13th edition. It's not important to know which edition it is. There are some important uh, business partners, some important allies of India, jinke saath ki uh, exercises hume pata honi chahi. <clears throat> Zoological Survey of India published a new book on more than 1000 bird species. The Zoological Survey of India covered about 
1331 bird uh, species that can be found in India in a field guide that was written by ZSI. According to ZSI director Dhriti Banerjee, unlike prior books that mostly uh, used drawings, it emphasizes high quality images of bird. It's very important uh, to have like you know actual representation, especially in today's uh, digital age. Right? It is very possible to have it. Some birds can never be found uh, because they are very endemic or they are very hidden. But for those which can be managed, drawing will not cut it now, right? So, uh, around 1000 bird species have been included in this particular book. It is not important, this bit of uh, news. The only thing is that if you want to, you may take a look at the book. Okay. Now, tennis legend Serena Williams announces her retirement from tennis. She is an athlete. You can say she is a goat greatest of all time okay and uh, she is she has many distinctive records not only amongst women athletes or women uh, players but also as a player in general okay so if you want to read more about her that will be great because she is a legend uh, in tennis uh, and uh, she is right there with other goats like uh, Roger Federer and all okay so you may take a look at her journey if you are interested so she is basically giving up tennis or rather retiring uh, from tennis for some personal reasons uh, where she wants to focus on family senior congress leader sashi tharoor to receive france's highest civilian award senior congress leader sashi tharoor is set to be conferred with france's highest civilian award chevalier de la Gion Gionio. The French government is honoring him for his writings and speeches. So the question could be which Indian leader recently received the highest French civilian award. Okay. So that's the only utility of this particular bit of news. Answer Shashi Tharoor. Okay. World's highest Chenab railway bridge inaugurated. World's highest Chenab railway bridge. We had already covered it in one of the, uh, like, you know, previous sessions. So here it is. The golden joint of the world's highest railway bridge over Chin, uh, River Chenab was inaugurated. For the first time ever since independence, Srinagar will be linked to the rest of India after the overage deck on the world's highest railway bridge <coughs> over Chenab River. Okay. So just out of curiosity, try to find out where uh, River Chenab is. All right. And what's important here? It is the highest bridge in the world so you may ask, you may be asked where is the highest railway bridge in the world it is in india over river chenab and it is going to link srinagar with rest of the india okay so you may uh, take a look at the exact geographical position of it if you wish to state bank of india introduced its first dedicated branch to support startups first dedicated branch to support, support startups where it has been in, uh, opened in Kuramangala, Bangalore. So Bangalore is known as the uh, like the city of startups. So obviously uh, you can remember it this way that obviously uh, they are going to provide a bank exclusively for startups where there are most number of startups, right? So Bangalore is the answer for that particular question. Okay. Central launches Palan. 1000 national campaign and parenting app. Palan 1000 national campaign and parenting app were launched by Union Minister of State for Health, Bharti Pravin Pawar in Mumbai. The launch of Palan 10,000 national campaign and parenting app aims to reduce child mortality rate and take care of the first 1000 days a child after birth. So basically the idea is first 1000 days after birth are important for the child so basically it's about near about three years okay so till the child is uh, up to three years uh, it is important to take care of their growth at that point of time nutrition and uh, like in the past development of brain and all occurs uh, during this age <clears throat> uh, the basic immunity of the child will also be uh, built in this particular age and it is a very crucial age because a lot of body changes happen for the babies okay so the idea here is that we have to reduce child mortality rate which is basically the number of 
children that are dying i think it is for 1000 but you can find out more about it there are other mortality rates like mmr maternal mortality rate and imr infant mortality rate so these are markers of the medical services in india okay or in any country so that is these markers are also important scotland becomes first nation to make period products available to everyone a uh, laudable and a really great move because a lot of people cannot afford safe period products or menstrual products and uh, in the end such women uh, end up suffering with a uh, myriad of diseases and because their financial condition prevents them from getting treatment there is a very painful and a long uh, torturous death involved in many cases where such diseases are rampant so overall there is a lot of hush hush about female anatomy in general uh, but we are all like you know a bunch of developing uh, nations uh, some really well developed nations and uh, we are all educated people so we should be able to speak about these issues very openly just because it is related to women does not mean that it's not affecting the entire society all right so it is a laudable move that one country has made period products available to everyone it is a very natural kind of uh, like you know a requirement for women and uh, interestingly condoms were made available uh, in many countries free of cost to control population but condoms and the use of condoms could be a choice however use of period products cannot be a choice okay period products are something that are absolutely required because it's just the natural female body cycle and nothing can be done so women can't choose whether to bleed or not and therefore uh, if we can make products like condoms which are basically like you know which still are about choices and still are about uh, control over your body why not such products which are very essential and on which women literally have no control so this this can become a very good case study for us to uh, take a look at from a social perspective and also we can uh, use this point in some debate so what's important scotland is the first nation to make period products available also imagine having to spend some 100 rupees uh, or like you know some 2 2 to 300 rupees every month without fail just because you are uh, belonging to a particular gender a lot of people can't afford it and there are not a lot of safe alternatives so it is a laudable move indeed local governments of scotland are now required by law of scotland to offer free sanitary products like tampons and pads to anyone who needs them as the period product uh, act take, takes effect in scotland goods will be supplied through council and educational institutions the period products free provision uh, scotland bill was unanimously approved which is very interesting okay unanimously approved that means all the mps understood the <clears throat> importance of this bill and all the mps understood why it should be done it is very uh, important okay so uh, this is the news that they all uh, unanimously agreed for this particular bill this will ensure quite a lot of uh, like you know uh, discussion as well as quite a lot of support to women who cannot afford to have a safe uh, like you know safe period and uh, obviously it is going to make things much better and the society uh, like you know conservative societies like india can learn a lot from this goa first state in india to receive har ghar jal certification so the only bit important is goa is the first state to receive har ghar jal the people of all villages in goa and dadra and nagar haveli and daman and diu declared the village to be a hargar jal village through a resolution passed by the gram sabha certifying that all households in the villages have access to safe drinking water so hargar jal certification is about access to safe drinking water okay and no one is left out very important dahi handi recognized as official sport of maharashtra again the only word dahi handi here is important and official sport of maharashtra that's it nothing else is important here one good thing is that even though it was not uh, an official sport a lot of people used to play or participate in dahi handi and a lot of them used to get injured because of it so now these 
uh, Gopals have some Govindas, sorry, have some uh, like you know insurance so that they can continue participating in such events, but also have some insurance in case things go wrong for them. So that's all from me, guys. There are quite a lot of bits that we saw today. A lot is not really happening uh, right now in terms of news that is relevant to us. So whatever is there that is being put in the videos, please do take a look at all the uh, small bits that have been mentioned by me during the course of this video. And please try to find out more about whatever interests you. That's all from me. See you. Bye-bye.